Welcome to another Ron No Stuff. Today we're going to dehydrate apples. We're going to use the Kasani dehydrator. It's available on Amazon for about 40 bucks. And it has five trays, about one apple per tray. So here's our apples. We're going to core them. After we wash them, we're going to cut them up. Now, some people take the skins off. I don't. Uh, I prefer the skins off. But, uh, but Ron thinks it's quicker to not peel them, which I think that might be true. Well, if you notice that we also pre-cut, what kind of paper is that? Parchment paper. Parchment paper. Some folks like that so that it doesn't... Um, the drip, and then you got to scrub really hard to get it off your... Yeah. Um, the tray, or you can buy some, uh, what's the silicone kind yeah. that are already netted. You can buy those on Amazon and other places as well. Well, and speaking of Amazon, again, none of this is sponsored, but I ordered you an apple peeler and core all in one for like 18 bucks. Well, the kind that you just twirl? You just kind of twirl. Thing. Yeah. Yep. So we'll do another video of that later on. But here you can see I'm coring them. And um, then I'm going to slice them and make them nice and pretty and put them on the trays. And that apple core, er, we are borrowing from my mom that came from Pampered Chef. Oh, yeah? And it works really well. It does work well, actually. And I was able to use some other little spots and take them out. So this Kasani has two different levels of tray height. And there's little bumps that you'll see on the edges. So long as you line those up, it's taller. If you don't line them up, it's shorter. I think the taller allows more airflow to run through. Yeah, I do too. And I just like it. So you can leave them in whole slices like that. Or you can cut them up. And if you cut them up, you can get a little more. On, on the tray? You. Yeah. And I, like I say, it's about, um, well, it is one apple per tray on this machine yeah it's just a smaller machine but it works great yeah and we're going to set this up for about i think it was six and a half hours at 140 degrees 145 degrees for apples uh, yeah oh 145 okay i also made some um strawberry fruit leather and i bought the special trays that that pours into to make the leather which was delicious so i just love having this machine yeah, you know, for 40 bucks, you can kind of control what you're eating. And uh, once that apple slicer comes in and it also peels and cores, it, it should make this a lot more fun. But uh, I like the taste of it. And I think the apple slicer will give us uh, more consistent sizes. So we also have property up in Georgia near Ella J, which there's a lot of orchids. Or orchards. Orchards. orchards, orchards, apple orchards, apple orchards, and that's where we got the idea uh, for the dried apples. Is there's a place, or actually, there's a bunch of places that sell them. And they're delicious. They really are, and it's a nice little snack. So whenever you want it. Yep. So we love them. Yeah. So here I am, chopping up more apple, and I'm almost done cutting up the apple. Uh, usually when you, uh, the slicer will automatically put them in the little pieces like that. So it's going to be a lot nicer and easier. Some people don't like the skin on there. Me, it doesn't bother me. And uh, again, I don't necessarily want to put the effort for it. So little Coco likes these, our little Corgi. She's been begging as we make these for more. So coming up, you'll see a time-lapse uh, photography of the apples drying. So that's kind of neat, trying that out for the first time. Did you stop and flip the trays and change you know, them in I, a different order? I did not. I just, oh, that's how those apples got in there. I just <laughs> saw them fall through the hole. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> when I was picking them out, this I, I'm wondering how they got in there. I just saw it on the video. Huh. So, no, I didn't rotate anything. I just put them on there and off they went. So this tray, uh, Mrs. Ron, no stuff. I didn't put the parchment paper on. I just set it on there. You want to try it? 
yeah, I wanted to try it and see just how dirty it would get. And I figured I'd better do it while you weren't home so that you wouldn't yell at me. But you don't yell at me anyway. Mm. You're the best ever, honey. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. Glad you think so. Well, shouldn't laugh about it. So here I am setting it up for how many minutes? I did do seven hours. Oh, seven hours. Seven hours at 145. Should I have not done seven hours? I don't know, because the other batch we made were a little thicker, so we needed long. All right, so this is the time-lapse photography. Sorry about the lights. Every now and then I was trying to adjust the lighting so that it would show it just right, so you get a good, consistent shot. But this is over the seven hours. This is what it's doing. Looks like they're changing. Yep. They're being dehydrated. So typically I like to flip them over and change the order of the trays just to make sure it's more consistent. Um, but these turned out great and they taste really good. So, yep, there I am tasting it to make sure it's good. And there's my little container that Mrs. Rod No Stuff got for me for just such a purpose. I don't think I'm going to do the parchment paper again. I don't think it really added any value to it. So Well, it did when we did the oranges. Yeah, but you see there, mm -hmm. nothing. Nice and clean. Oh, good. Yeah. So I'm going to empty the rest of the trays, and then I'm going to eat all of these. I might even share them. We're going on a little road trip, so uh, I'll be making a bunch for our road trip. But if you like this video, please like, subscribe, leave any comments, any suggestions you have. If there's other things you want me to dehydrate, let me know. We're going to be doing some canning, and I hope to be able to record some of that. We're going to have a few people over doing canning one day. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. And you can, you can come by and watch us. Yeah, maybe we'll make another video. But again, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And Ron knows stuff. Thanks for watching.